some more boombox babies. Hey, what's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the fans' toys, erase loudspeaker and amplifier. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. As always, we have some lovely artwork of the trio FT55B up top, FT55B, 55B, 55B, 55B. On the back, you have your obligatory product shots, and as always, you have a very, oh lord, we have a very lengthy bio if you want to read that on your own time go ahead and read it on your own time and that's basically it for the packaging also included we get not one not two but three collector's cards one for each and on the back we have again those bios in the smallest type ever and we have tech specs if that interests you hooray for that cards and moving right along here we have erase loudspeaker and amplifier or eject steel jaw and ram horn so yeah we have some more minions for fans toys blaster and as you can see, they all come in their own little cassette case here. It's very nice, very sturdy. And we got the cassettes in here. I'll just take them all out. So you can see them in all of their glory. And uh, yeah, you know, they're, they're cassette shaped objects. It works. Now, of course, Eject here is just a recolor of Rewind. But just so you can see how he's all folded up. We have steel jaw here. Got some nice gold chrome. You can see how he's all folded up. And ram horn. Let's see, a little brown cassette here. You can see how that works out. And for comparison, uh, here is the uh, the DS ram horn. Just so you can see those two side by side. And here they are with G1. Eject, steel jaw, and ram horn. Why? Because it's precious. Oh! Oh, so precious. And one last one we're gonna do is the mainline eject. Again, just so you can see how that works out. So there you go. And here is Blaster, and if you saw my review of Fans Toys Blaster, um, you'll remember me talking about how the tolerances inside his chest are a bit on the snug side, so the tapes do tend to get a little kind of, you know, they, 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 they fit, but they, they kind of can get a little stuck. It depends. I personally would not. Steel Jaw actually fits in there pretty well. Not too bad. Um, Ramhorn, again, he fits in there pretty well. It seems like Eject and Rewind fit in there a little bit more snugly than I would like. Um, but on honestly though, you can fit two cassettes in here if you just push this panel back. I wouldn't do that because once you try to get one back here, you can really feel some friction kind of going on and I, I'm just deathly afraid that it would just get totally stuck in there. So I personally would not shove a cassette all the way back there. You do what you want, do it at your own risk, but you got that. So that is basically it for the cassette modes. Um, there's not much to them. They are cassettes and they do exactly what, what they're doing, which is be cassettes. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Oh, God, okay, so we're gonna start off with erase. So eject transforms just like rewind. Uh, we take these panels here and we just flip them forward to make the chestial region. Then you take the legs and bring them down and bring them down. Rotate the legs back. Take these little panels here behind the thighs and close those up. And you wanna bring the feet down and right here in the legs is where his weapons store and you can see the proper orientation for how you want those to sit. There are little grooves for them to sit in. That's the way you want them to go. You can just, Take these out and put them off to the side, and I can just take his foot, rotate it 180, and then bring it up. Rotate the foot 180, and bring it up, 
and you got the legs all done. So now you just take the arms, just bring them out and to the side. The elbow's on a double joint here, so just extend that and then flip out his little fist. And second burst, just like the first, just bring that down. Extend the elbow and flip out his little fist. Then you just come back here, bring the head up, rotate it, and then you just extend his upper body. Yeah. There we go. Just extend that up until it clicks into place. If this is a little too tight, just loosen these two screws right here. And it should work a lot better. I may need to loosen these up a little bit more. But there you go. There you have Erase in his robot mode. And he looks just like Rewind, just in a uh, different color. But yeah. well, let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. You focus, you focus on the noggin. There we go. He has nice coloration in there. Nice blue for the eyes. Um, I love the metallic coloration on the body. You got some gold in there as well. Just love the coloration on this one. Looks really good. There's little toesies. Maybe over to the back. Not much to talk about here. Oh no. I think he's a pretty nice looking little cassette box. Articulation wise, the head can rotate and do a full 360. You can use a transformation hinge to have him look up and down, do squirrel, total sort, lots of squirrel. Hey, where's that squirrel? Right there. Uh, arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out at two points. You have a ball joint right here, and then you have the hinge right up there, so you can get those arms moving all the way up. Uh, you don't have any kind of bicep rotation, you do have a double jointed elbow. You can get that going on. Nothing at the wrist except for inward movements. You do not have any waist rotation. It always looks like that's supposed to rotate, and it doesn't. It seems like it should, because it looks like there's a cut there. So I always forget there's not a waist joint there. Legs can move forward that far back, that far outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there and to the knee and the feet. They can move up a lot. They can move down a lot. Um, you have rotation, not too much rotation, just because of these sections here that are on either side, but you also have a bit of ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his weapon, which is made up of two tiny pieces. Oh, the tiny pieces. Take the barrel here and just rotate it up. And come here, you got the little handle, which you have to flip down right there. Tiny, tiny little pieces. And then you just clip the two halves together, and voila. There you have this little chrome-plated blaster here. And you can just plug that into his hand. Thusly, for pew-pewing, bang-banging, pew-pewing, and more bang-banging. And there you have that. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Fan Stories Rumble, or Frenzy, whatever you want to call him. Here he is with Rewind. You can see those two together with the mainline eject. And with G1 eject because he's precious. Oh, so precious. So that is basically it for Eject. So now let's move on to Steel. No, oh, let's move on to Steel Jaw. He got ejected. <laughs> anyway. So here is Steel Jaw. And to transform him, first thing we're going to do is come back here and bring up the tail. Then you want to bring down both of the hind legs. And now you're going to take this whole back section here. It's on double hinge. So you want to get that moving and then bring it back. And there's a little little notch yet this will sit in right there like that and do the same thing on the other side so just kind of wiggle that out and get all that situated and that's how you want that looking right there now you're going to take these sections and rotate them all the way down like so and then take this little fin section and rotate that back and second verse just like the first Again, just rotate that down and bring that back. And make sure all this is sitting where it's supposed to. See how that's looking. And there you have the back all done. So now we're going to come here and open up these front sections. Just bring this all the way out. And then we can just angle that up and bring up the head. 
Let's take these front paws, the little tabs that slot in underneath the paws. Just bring those out, and now we're going to rotate this entire section up with the paws. Make sure they end up underneath this panel here, which can be a little bit of a chore. Just to kind of get things, because there's not a whole lot of clearance for it. And just kind of find a way to finagle it in. Try not to use the legs for leverage, but sometimes I use the legs for leverage, which you really shouldn't do, but it does kind of help a little bit. Just just don't, don't, don't grab the leg here. Just kind of grab it by the hinge right there, and, you know, it helps a little bit, but I still want to recommend it because <laughs> you might break it, so, you know. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, <laughs> so do the same thing on the other side. Just got to get that worked up. And this one likes to fight me a little bit more. Again, there's not this one issue I have, is unless I'm just doing it wrong. But there we go. Just try to pop that underneath like that. You can just kind of adjust those paws like so. And now you want to bring these sections back down. This is on a double hinge, so now you want to bend it down at this hinge here. So fold it down to this hinge. Fold it down to this hinge. And now you have these little posts here that will go into these notches right there where my fingernail is. Just bring it down. And what I personally do is I just kind of bring them down right over those sections there and just push it down they just kind of pop into place. There you go. And there you go. And just get everything adjusted however you wish. And there you go. There you have Loudspeaker, aka Steeljaw, in his robot mind. That will spin him. Why not? We'll give him a spin. But there is Steeljaw. And he's not a bad looking little Steeljaw. I can work with it. I can work with it. Let's get in closer here so we can take a look at that noggin. You can see the eyes are picked out in yellow. Yeah, it sculpted itself overall. It's pretty good. I think, it, I don't know. I think it looks maybe a little too, a little too long maybe. I don't know, but it's not bad. Yeah, got those nice gold chromed weapons, which really pops. The hind legs and steel booty. He has buns of steel. Now, as far as articulation goes, the mouth can open and close. The head can move up. And down, that can also rotate from side to side. The front legs can rotate. You have that joint there, joint for the paw. All the hind legs can only move forward and back. You have that hinge there that can move forward. can only move about that far back. You can get a little bit further, but I wouldn't force it. And those back paws there can move up and down, and the tail can move up and down. And that is pretty much it there. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Ocular Max steel jaw. Bit of a size difference there. And here he is with G1 steel jaw, because why precious? Oh, so precious. So there you go. So that is basically it for Steel Jaw. So last but not least, we have, uh, excuse me, we have Amplifier, AKA Ramhorn. So to transform Amplifier here, first thing we're gonna do is flip out the tail, take these hind legs and just bring them down. Bring down to the toesies. And next thing you wanna do is you want to extend these side sections out, they will extend out, outward, and back, and this can be a bit of a pain in the butt. No pun intended, since we are kind of working with his butt here, but... <laughs> this side is a little bit of a pain in the butt, because you have to kind of try to undo things, and it just, I don't know, like the slider, it's on a slider, it's how it works. And it's honestly, like, you have to kind of like grab the leg and just kind of give it like a wiggle, kind of like a wiggle waggle. It works, but it doesn't at the same time. It just, I don't know. This one, honestly, it, it annoys me. It tasks me. It tasks me. There we go. We got it. See, that's 
that's what's supposed to happen there. Like that. And usually this side fights me more than the other one, but again, maybe since we got the one side freed up, it, there we go. That one side actually worked. Kind of give it a little wiggle as you're pulling it. It's just, yeah. But that's how you want that looking back there. See, it's on a little slider. That's a little bit of a pain in the Botox, but, oh. But once you've done that, take these sections here and just bring them up. And then you have this panel here, flip that back, make a little weapon. Same thing here, just bring that up and flip that back. You want to take his little front legs here, bring them down. Now you're going to split this entire front section here. Just bring it out, bring it out and back. It's on double hinge, so just bring it out and back. Make sure it sits behind his weapons there. And get that all situated. And once you have done that, you can flip the head out. And on this side, gonna bring the weapon down to get that out of the way. There's a little panel in here you wanna flip up. And it'll just tab into the other side. And that just makes for a little like, like a little uh, a little gap filler. Not much of a gap filler, but it's something that bridges it. it just kind of keeps it from collapsing in on itself. Of course, you have to make sure you have it uh, actually tabbed in where it's supposed to go, which I do not. There we go. That's where it's supposed to go. Just like that. Just got everything situated. His butt cheek collapsed. How dare his butt cheek collapse? You stay right there, butt cheek. <laughs> there you go. Left cheek, left cheek, left cheek. Anyway, but there we go. I think we got everything in place. So there you have Amplifier, a.k.a. Ramhorn, in his beast mode. And I definitely feel like he's the weakest of this set. Not my favorite of them, but, you know, he's okay. He's, he's okay, but we're getting close here so we can take a look. Uh, the details you can see the eyes are painted in and just a whole lot of brown I got his little side weapons there done in that nice gold chrome got some nice detail in there as well yeah. not a whole lot to him the rhino booty again not my favorite I feel he is the weakest but not horrible either you know he's I right. he's I right. articulation wise his little mouth can open and close the head can move up and down it can also rotate you can move the whole neck up and down if you want to as well uh, front legs his little front legs can move forward and back a little bit legs uh, the knees here forward and back you got a little joint here for his toesies which can move up and down and as far as the hind legs again you got forward and back you got the knee that can move forward and back and toesies can move up and down and tail can move up and down and for comparison here he is with the ds ram horn and here he is with G1 Ramhorn again, because precious, oh, so precious. And here is the crew with Blaster, so you can see how that works out. And they do look quite good together, quite good together, so there you go. So there you have Erase, Loudspeaker, and Amplifier. And yeah, I'm always for more cassette bots. I like these little guys. As I said earlier, I think Amplifier, aka Ramhorn, is the weakest of the sets, but you know, he's, he's not horrible, just just not great. I dig Steeljaw, I dig Eject, um, I, th I think Eject and Rewind definitely turned out better than their Rumble and Frenzy, honestly. But yeah, I hope we get some more cassette bots, I am always for some more cassette bots, so... There you go! And now I picked this up from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Toys Erase Loudspeaker and Amplifier, and this is Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey Prime, look what I got. 
Whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second. I'm sorry, but is there a sign outside that says primetime daycare? What are you trying to do to me? Oh, come on, they're not going to take up much space, and I'm sure they'll help us against the Decepticons. Yeah, I guess they can serve some use as back scratchers or something. Can't be any more annoying than Bumblebee. Hey! Shut up, Bumblebee!